A week or so ago, Bubble released streaming for AI text into the no-code apps that you're building with Bubble. And there's already been a bit of confusion in the forums about how you would stream data and yet save that data into the database as if you're building like a chat GPT clone and you want a list of messages, conversation history, that sort of thing. Because the demos that I've seen so far are, have basically not been that conversation. They've not been streaming into a repeating group and it's just been kind of streaming text onto the page and not saving it to the database. That's a lot of knots. But in this Bob tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how uh, I found a way that you can stream data into a repeating group and then you can have that data saved once the stream is complete. And I've been looking through the forum, seeing how other people have approached it. And I think that I've got a fairly lean approach, but of course, uh, this is all new to us. If you think I've missed anything, please do leave a comment um, down below with your thoughts. So let me just give you a quick demo. Uh, so I have a, uh, let's just dive in here. I've got a repeating group searching through messages, very similar to any kind of chat GPT conversation, open AI tutorials that I've done before. And um, I'm just showing text. Uh, so here I'm gonna say write a sonnet about no code, click send. And you can see that it's streaming the text into the repeating group uh, and then it's complete. And then if I refresh, uh, you'll find that the conversation is still all there. So I've not actually seen anyone doing this just yet. Let me show you how um, I've got this to work. This is not gonna be an in-depth tutorial in how to set up the streaming protocol. I think other people have done that, although I may well record a follow-up video just showing that earlier process. But I'm gonna assume that you've got the API connector set up and that you're, uh, successfully, you've successfully initialized that. So what I've got going on here, let's dive into the workflow is I've got send and I create the user message. So I like using an option set for the different roles. Uh, so I've got a user message here, um, but bearing this is simply demonstrating streaming. I'm not actually showing how you can send the whole history, whether you're using the chat completion or you're using the new OpenAI responses endpoint. I'm simply showing how you can stream into a repeating group. I then uh, create an empty uh, assistant response and I have a yes no field of streaming we're going to see why that's important in a moment I then send the uh, request to OpenAI uh, I've got my messages there I'm formatting it as JSON safe again this is something that I noticed missing from some of the early demos it's so vital that in the API connector um, let me show you that you are your input or your messages your text whatever endpoint you're using uh, yeah, don't put the speech marks in there. Use uh, format um, uh, format as JSON safe, okay? Because otherwise you're just gonna create syntax errors with punctuation. Um, and then, this is the limitation, and it's probably to do with uh, workload units, not wanting to overstress the database. Basically, you're not writing character by character or chunk by chunk to your database. You want to write to the database at the end when it's completed, and yet you need a way on the page of displaying what's going on. So on the page, and you could do this any way you like, I've, and I've named it so it's really clear to you guys. Um, I've created a group, uh, is you being used as a group on the page to contain elements, but I just need somewhere to store a the text stream. And I've got, it's called text stream because that's how I have it set up in the API connector. Let me just show really clearly what I've got going on here. So I've got uh, the delta output, push to text stream. Here's my field, this is what I've labeled it. Okay, and so I it's not text, it is text stream. And I have a group. It's basically, it could probably you could use a custom state, but I've not tested it. This is an empty place to store the text as it comes in, but it isn't being stored to the database. Um, so then what I have in my workflow is display data. So I'm taking the text stream, remember that's how I've named it, and I'm putting it into this group. Uh, I then, this, so step four is gonna run as kind of each character comes in. And step five is gonna run because I'm saying the uh, text streams full text. Uh, that's gonna run at the very end. So I'm saying make changes to my empty one and I'm putting in the full text right at the end and I'm marking it as streaming equals no. Uh, and then I'm resetting my input uh, simply so that my uh, text box is empty. So 
here's how I've approached it. I like to approach things in a lean manner. I don't want there to be any uh, content shift, you know, things kind of staggering in and out of the page. So I've got a simple single text uh, label here and I'm saying parent groups message text and I've got a group. So uh, as a quick reminder, if I go into uh, data type messages, I've got role, I've got streaming, I've got text. So I'm simply saying show the text that is saved in the database. That is the default state for the text in my repeating group. But I've got a conditional statement to say when streaming is yes and streaming is only going to be yes uh, from this point here down to this point here. So in the process of streaming, streaming is yes. Um, when it is yes, I'm now getting the text from my temporary container, my group that's holding the stream text, and I'm showing it, and it's the stream text text so far. So the page is holding the bit by bit as it's coming in, and then once it is completed, it is being saved to the database. And I was, I've, I've just built this as my first iteration of how I would approach it. And there, I don't see any content shift because I'm not showing and hiding different text elements. I'm simply swapping it in. So by the time that this changes to no, I will have the full text and it will revert back to what is saved in the database. So I'd love your comments. Um, I've been on a couple of weeks of paternity leave. To be honest, I'm playing catch up with uh, the streaming protocol. Uh, so if I've missed anything, if there's a more elegant approach, I'd love to hear it in the comments. But I really hope that this has been useful because I've seen people in the forum just getting confused about how you can display streamed text in a repeating group.